All right, young man, introduce yourself and let's get going. I'm um, Carrier, I'm 35, I'm at the University of Houston. All right. Game starts. Stand back there, you're looking. Ball comes your way. Weather's changing on you at all times. And then what then what what goes through your mind? What what went through what went through your mind rather? Well, usually they line up in like a little cluster. They be in like a little bunch and then they spread out when they kick off. And we was looking, it was like, man, they not clustering. You know, so that makes the blocks a lot I guess it makes the blocks a lot easier for the guys, but they was they were so prepared for the cluster. So it kind of made me nervous, like, okay, would they be prepared for, you know, for him to come out, you know, and just run down the field? And, uh, you know, he kicked it. I was like, okay, win ain't strong. It's going to come a little short, so I got a chance to feel this. And I caught it, and, I, you know, I set my track, and I, I seen, you know, daylight. So I just I squeezed through there, and I, I took it to the house. Then as I was on that same <laughs> sideline, that deep in the corner, when you, t when you t made that turn and looked up field, didn't see anything other than green grass. What was what, what what clicked? So, Cause I know when I see green grass, you know, <laughs> I'm not looking back. I'm just not looking to the side. I'm just looking up front. Oh man, I, what the problem was uh, after I passed up the kicker, I was screaming that whole way to the end zone. So I kind of lost my voice for a couple of days there, but. Uh, it's just, it's just, it's a great feeling, to, you know, just the tie great like C.J. Spiller. You know, uh, it's just overwhelming, especially to do it at home. Talk about that. You mentioned that Saturday, uh, I mean, not Saturday, Thursday, about uh, finally getting a record. You thought you were going to get a chance to get it earlier, but you did what you needed to do on Thursday night. Yeah, you know, uh, college football teaches you a lot of patience, uh, you know. I thought I was going to get it like the second, third game of the year, and it, it didn't work out that way. You know, it just, just teach you some great patience out there. You know, it couldn't have happened at a better time, you know, against Rice, our rival, for the bucket, and at home. So, you know, it's a, it's a great accomplishment. Talk about uh, playing for the bucket. It's, it's, you know, that's, that's the big deal here in town, you know. It's, yeah. Rice has held on to it for a little while. And, Y'all finally got it back. Just talk about that. Oh, um, man, it, it, it meant a big thing to me. Uh, when we went over there, just seeing them run the field and, and just snatch it away from me, it, just, it took a lot out of me. Uh, <laughs> like, I, I made a little speech before the games and saying, like, they got what we want. So, man, they ain't going to give it to us. We're going to have to take it. You know, that was our little motto. So, we had to go up there and take it. <laughs> well, I saw Chris had his big mitts on it. Oh, yeah. No. He was the first one. I didn't actually get to touch it until I got in the locker room. I'm kind of short, so I can't fight over them guys <laughs> to try to get it. <laughs> Talk about now that you've gotten a record, the bucket sits here on campus. Where's your mindset now? Uh, we just we want to finish the year right. Um, we had an opportunity a couple of years ago. Uh, things didn't go so well with that opportunity. And uh, we know what it feels like to to not achieve what we strive for. So that's the most important thing right now, is just finish the season off right. Coach talk about, talks about that all the time, about finishing games and finishing the season. Um, you, you've been around here long enough to, uh, to be a part of the last time this team was in this position to go down the road and all and, and finish out. Case is back. Things seem to be clicking, both offensively and defensively. You got games now on the road, two games back to back. Just, just talk about going on the road? Uh, you know, early in the year, we I guess we learned our lesson about going on the road. So uh, I'm just curious to see how we respond when we go out there. You know, uh, being at home is, is a lot different from being on the road. You know, we got energy, a lot of energy from the crowd, especially the student section. They go crazy. But uh, we got to create our own energy when we go out of town. You know? We still got to win games out of town. You know, it's not going to be given to us. So, you know, from us being in, that, in the type of situation that we are now a couple of years ago, it just gives us a whole different aspect about, you know, playing ball on this level. This week is pretty much back to the regular schedule. Uh, you got a Saturday game now instead of Thursday. No quick turnaround. How are you uh, mentally? Uh, I'm great. I, I mean, everybody's feeling great right now. Uh, you know, you got your nicks and bruises, but it's, it's nothing. Uh, the, the, the turnaround is just, just getting focused, not worrying about 
what everybody says about us, how great we are, you know, because you're really never that good and you're really never that bad. So, you know, you, you got to just, just, just look at yourself in the mirror and know what your mistakes were. The past game and just try to improve. All right. A little personal. Um, what's your major and why? Consumer science and merchandise. It, it's just like a, it gives you the whole aspect of how the world runs itself. You know, uh, from stocks to how we eat food. You know, uh, it's just a, a, a great way of thinking to me. You know, you just get a whole different look of, of what we do or what we buy. I love it. <laughs> did you choose it by, did you make that, that decision by choice or just something that you saw while you were in other classes and all that, that's why you wanted to flow to? Well, uh, I was in uh, HMR, Hotel and Restaurant Management. It was kind of too hectic, you know, for uh, running, for playing football and running track. And you know, HMR was was a was a great program, so I kind of looked into it, investigated it, and uh, found out I really liked it. So I didn't look back since then. All right. Reintroduce yourself. Your name, your year, and your position. Tyrone Carey, class of '07 from high school. I'm graduating this December. Uh, play receiver, number 35, University of Houston. Is it Jerry Lee Woodley Jr.? Huh? This, I'm just introducing myself. Oh. <laughs> this is Jerry Lee Woodley Jr. for the King Size View College Sports Report. Oh, yeah. <laughs>